The Star Wars franchise has spawned over 100 computer, video, and board games, dating back to some of the earliest home consoles. Some are based directly on movie material, while others rely heavily on the Star Wars expanded universe. Overview of Star Wars games The Star Wars games have gone through three significant development eras, the early licensed games, the games developed after the creation of LucasArts, and the games created after the closure of LucasArts, whom were licensed to EA Games, and include an EA Star Wars logo. The early licensed games are mostly retellings of the original trilogy films done during the 8-bit and 16-bit eras of gaming, when games graphics were so simple games barely feared any kind of narrative. When George Lucas founded his own game development company LucasArts, the game's graphics evolved enough for games to be able to tell complex narratives. The games developed during the first two eras are part of the non-canonical Legends label, and not considered part of the canon of the franchise. In contrast, the games developed during the third era, under the EA Star Wars logo are considered canonical to the franchise, although only the few that actually include a narrative. Early licensed games In 1978, Apple Computer produced an unlicensed Star Wars game on cassette tape for its Apple II. As a space pilot trainee, the player destroys TIE fighters using a first-person heads-up display. The first video game cartridge bearing the name Star Wars appeared that year on the RCA Studio 2 clones Sheen M1200 and Mustang Telespiel computer. The first official licensed Star Wars electronic game was Kenner's 1979 tabletop Star Wars Electronic Battle Command. The game had three levels of play basic, intermediate, and advanced. Players took turns examining star systems with the aim of avoiding black holes, locating enemies, and searching for magna. The Force Giving Star. The game was billed as the most exciting computer game you will ever play. Topic: The Original Trilogy. The Atari 2600, beginning with The Empire Strikes Back 1982, in which the player piloted a snowspeeder during the Battle of Hoth, destroying it at Walkers. Several other games appeared, such as Return of the Jedi, Death Star Battle 1983, where the player controlled the Millennium Falcon in a mission to destroy the second Death Star, and Jedi Arena 1983, the first game to attempt to simulate a lightsaber battle in this case, clearly inspired by the Star Wars scene, where Luke Skywalker trains with a Seeker. In 1983, the Star Wars arcade game was released by Atari based on the 1977 film. In this game, featuring color vector graphics and the first ever digitized speech from a film, the player enters the seat of Luke's Red 5X Wing fighter, battles waves of TIE fighters led by Darth Vader, weaves through towers across the surface of the Death Star, and plummets through the battle station's trench in an attempt to destroy it. The sequel for the game, The Empire Strikes Back, used the same technology to recreate scenes from the second film, including battles with it at walkers and an asteroid field. Due to the video game crash of 1983, which temporarily killed the home console market, no further games based on the franchise were released until 1987 when UK software publisher Domark released several 8-bit versions of the Star Wars Vector arcade game, followed by similar conversions in 1988 of the Empire Strikes Back machine. In 1987, Namco developed a Star Wars game for the family computer for the Japanese market exclusively, based on the 1977 film, but with several liberties taken with its storyline. In 1991, the platformer Star Wars was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Master System, Game Boy and Game Gear, and one year later, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back covered the plotline of the fifth episode of the saga. Also in 1992, Super Star Wars was released for the SNES, followed by the remaining games in the trilogy, Super Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back 1993, and Super Star Wars, Return of the Jedi 1994, the latter also receiving conversions for the Game Boy and Game Gear in 1995. The following is a list of Star Wars games that are based on the feature films, developed during this development era. Topic. Episode 4, A New Hope 
Star Wars Arcade Re-released for, Atari 2600 Atari 5200, Commodore 64, Atari 8-Bit Family, ColecoVision, BBC Micro, ZX Spectrum, Acorn Electron, Amstrad CPC, Atari Street, Apple II, DOS, Macintosh, Amiga. Star Wars 1987 Famicom Star Wars, Attack on the Death Star 1991, PC-9801, X-68000 Star Wars 1991-93 NES, Game Boy, Master System, Game Gear Super Star Wars 1992, first game in the Super Star Wars trilogy SNES Re-released for, Wii Virtual Console, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita Star Wars Arcade 1993 Arcade Re-released for 32X Topic <laughs> Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back 1982 Atari 2600 in television Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back 1985-88 Arcade Re-released for, BBC Micro, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Amiga, Atari. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back 1992 NES, Game Boy Super Empire Strikes Back 1993, second game in the Super Star Wars trilogy SNES Re-released, Wii Virtual Console Topic. Episode 6, Return of the Jedi Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Death Star Battle 1983-84 Atari 2600, Atari 8-Bit Family, Atari 5200, ZX Spectrum Star Wars, Return of the Jedi 1984-88 Arcade, BBC Micro, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Amiga, Atari Street, GameCube Super Return of the Jedi 1994, third game in the Super Star Wars trilogy SNES, Game Boy, Game Gear Re-released, Wii Virtual Console Cancelled, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Ewok Adventure Atari 2600, unreleased. Topic. Standalone titles Topic. 1980s Star Wars, Jedi Arena 1983, Atari 2600 Re-releases, Mobile 2005. Star Wars, Droids 1988, Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum, based on the Star Wars, Droids series Death Star Interceptor 1985, System 3 Software Limited, ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64 Topic. LucasArts and modern self-published games In the early 1980s George Lucas decided to invest in video games. So through Lucasfilm, Lucas started his own video game company, which he named LucasArts. However, since Lucas had already licensed the rights to develop Star Wars games, the company instead developed original adventure games and World War II flight combat games. LucasArts regained the rights to develop Star Wars games in 1993, at that point the video game company put their previous experience in flight simulators to use, and released a Star Wars, X-Wing, the first self-published Star Wars video game and the first space flight simulation based on the franchise. The prequel trilogy As The Phantom Menace release approached, dozens of licensed Episode 1 tie-in titles appeared, even educational titles, the market was flooded with several games, most of them of questionable quality. However at the same time, titles based on the expanded universe flourished with cryical acclaim, such as the expansion to Jedi Knight, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Mysteries of the Sith and the first game in the Rogue Squadron series. The Phantom Menace 
Star Wars, Episode I, The Phantom Menace 1999, Windows, PlayStation Star Wars, Episode I 1999, Pinball Star Wars Episode I, Jedi Power Battles 2001, PlayStation, Dreamcast, Game Boy Advance Star Wars Episode I, Battle for Naboo 2001, Nintendo 64, Windows Star Wars Episode I, Obi-Wan's Adventures 2000, Game Boy Color Star Wars, Obi-Wan 2001 Xbox After the release of Episode I in theaters in 1999, an onslaught of games from the prequel trilogy began to be released for most major platforms. The first releases were the regular video game adaptation Action Adventure and Star Wars Episode I, Racer, based on the podracing sequence in movie. Others, including Battle for Naboo and Jedi Power Battles, were released, but with little success. The first strategic game in the Star Wars Expanded Universe was titled Star Wars, Rebellion and broke new ground in that it incorporated ships and planets not found in the original canon, such as the Rebel Assault Frigate and the Bulwark Cruiser. But for all its groundbreaking new looks, it was not as successful as would have been hoped. The second strategic title, Star Wars, Force Commander was also released, but failed to keep up with other RTS games, since it was more focused on battling no resource gathering and used a primitive 3D engine. About a decade later, resource gathering lost popularity in favor of faster-paced combat-centric RTS games. Topic. Attack of the Clones Star Wars, The Clone Wars 2002 Action, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones 2002 Game Boy Advance Star Wars, The New Droid Army 2002 Game Boy Advance In 2002, Attack of the Clones premiered in theaters, and another wave of Star Wars-based games, including The Clone Wars, Star Wars Racer Revenge, and Bounty Hunter were released, this time focusing on events and characters from Attack of the Clones such as Bounty Hunter Jango Fett and The Clone Wars. Star Wars, Jedi Starfighter was released, allowing the player to be a Jedi Master flying a Jedi Starfighter. A third RTS game with a much more conventional approach to the genre's norms and using the Age of Kings engine, Star Wars, Galactic Battlegrounds, offered a better alternative to those seeking strategy in the Star Wars universe. Topic. Revenge of the Sith Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith 2005, PlayStation 2, Xbox, Handhelds and Mobile, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, Mobile joining the release of Revenge of the Sith, a video game adaptation action was also released close to the premiere, with various degrees of success. Star Wars, Republic Commando was also released in 2005. Topic. Star Wars, The Clone Wars Animated Series Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Lightsaber Duels 2008, Wii Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Jedi Alliance 2008, Nintendo DS Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes 2009, Windows, PlayStation 2, Nintendo DS, PlayStation Portable, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii Clone Wars Adventures 2010, Windows, Mac Shutdown Topic. Expanded Universe Franchises The X-Wing series marked the start of the Star Wars games moving away from remaking the official films and began to focus more on the Expanded Universe. Other titles were published or licensed by LucasArts, such as the software Toolworks's Star Wars Chess who also used the first multimedia explosion to release Rebel Assault 1993, which used FMV and photos extensively. The 1996 Nintendo 64 title Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire was part of a LucasArts attempt to create a story between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of Jedi, putting the player in control of mercenary Dash Render. Shadows of the Empire featured fan-favorite parts from the Super Star Wars line, such as another reenactment of the Battle of Hoth, piloting a snowspeeder and tying a cable around at AT's legs. 
After the special edition original trilogy re-release in 1997, LucasArts published other titles, including Star Wars, Yoda Stories and Star Wars Monopoly, as well as a Star Wars-themed fighter, Star Wars, Masters of Terra's Cassie. X-Wing X-Wing DOS, Macintosh Expansions, Imperial Pursuit and B-Wing Compilation, X-Wing Collector's CD-ROM TIE Fighter DOS, Macintosh Expansions, Defender of the Empire Compilation, TIE Fighter Collector's CD-ROM Star Wars, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter Windows Expansions, Balance of Power Campaigns and Flight School X-Wing Alliance Window S X-Wing was one of the best-selling games of 1993, and established the beginning of the X-Wing computer game series, which garnered numerous awards and recognition. Star Wars, X-Wing was followed by several sequels and expansions, such as Star Wars, TIE Fighter, Star Wars, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, and Star Wars, X-Wing Alliance. Rebel Assault Star Wars – Rebel Assault 1993 DOS, Mac, Sega CD, 3DO Star Wars – Rebel Assault 2 – The Hidden Empire 1995 DOS, PlayStation, Mac <laughs> Jedi Knight Star Wars – Dark Forces 1995 DOS, Mac, PlayStation Star Wars Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2 1997, Windows Expansions, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Mysteries of the Sith 1998, Windows Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast 2002, Windows, Mac, Xbox, GameCube Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy 2003, Windows, Mac, Xbox The first step towards modern games was done with 1995's Dark Forces, the first Star Wars first-person shooter video game. A hybrid adventure game incorporating puzzles and strategy, it featured new gameplay features and graphical elements not then common in other games, made possible by LucasArts' custom-designed game engine, called the Jedi. The game was well received and well reviewed. The game put the player in the role of Kyle Katarn, who would later appear in multiple games, novels, and comics. After the special edition original trilogy re release in 1997, LucasArts published Star Wars Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2, then Star Wars Jedi Knight, Mysteries of the Sith, released in 1999. In 2002, its sequel Jedi Outcast was released and gave players the first chance to experience advanced lightsaber duels, and it also detached itself from the usual idea of movie tie-ins. One year later, the last game in the Jedi Knight series, Jedi Academy was released. Katarn is a former Imperial Stormtrooper who joins the Rebellion and ultimately becomes a Jedi, a plot arc similar to that of Finn in the 2015 film The Force Awakens. Topic. Rogue Squadron Star Wars – Rogue Squadron 1998, Windows – Nintendo 64 Star Wars – Rogue Squadron 2 – Rogue Leader 2001, GameCube Star Wars – Rogue Squadron 3 – Rebel Strike 2003, GameCube Note, the co-op campaign of Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike, is composed of all the missions of the single-player campaign of the previous game Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2, Rogue Leader except for two missions which are not included, however such missions can only be played in multiplayer, and can not be played in single-player. Additionally as a bonus, the game includes the arcade games of Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Topic. Star Wars Galaxies Star Wars Galaxies, An Empire Divided 2003, Windows 
Expansions, Star Wars Galaxies, Jump to Lightspeed 2004, Star Wars Galaxies, Episode 3 Rage of the Wookiees 2005, Star Wars Galaxies, Trials of Obi-Wan 2005, Compilations, Star Wars Galaxies, Starter Kit 2005, Star Wars Galaxies, The Total Experience 2005, and Star Wars Galaxies, The Complete Online Adventures 2006, the first MMORPG, titled Star Wars Galaxies, An Empire Divided, was also released in 2003 and was subsequently followed in 2004 by its first expansion jump to lightspeed. Two more games, Star Wars Galaxies, Episode 3 Rage of the Wookiees a second expansion to Galaxies, and after the films, more Star Wars titles continued to be developed and released. Empire at War an RTS, was released in early 2006. Topic. Star Wars Racer Star Wars Episode I, Racer 1999, Windows, Mac, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64 Handhelds, Game Boy Color Star Wars, Racer Arcade 2000, Arcade Star Wars Racer Revenge 2002, PlayStation 2 Racer-related titles Star Wars Super Bombad Racing 2001 PlayStation 2 Topic <laughs> Galactic Battlegrounds Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds 2001 Windows Mac Expansions Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Clone Campaigns 2002 Windows Mac Topic. Starfighter Star Wars, Starfighter 2001, Windows, PlayStation 2 Star Wars, Starfighter Special Edition 2001, Xbox Star Wars, Starfighter 2003, Arcade Star Wars, Jedi Starfighter 2002, Xbox, PlayStation 2 Topic. Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2003, Windows, Xbox, Mac, iOS, Android Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords 2005, Windows, Xbox, Mac Star Wars, The Old Republic 2011, MMORPG, Windows Expansions, Rise of the Hutt Cartel 2013, Galactic Starfighter 2014, Galactic Strongholds 2014, Shadow of Revan 2014, Knights of the Fallen Empire 2015, and Knights of the Eternal Throne 2016. Cancelled, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 3 Windows, Xbox Mobile, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2013 in 2003, Knights of the Old Republic, a Bioware RPG that debuted on the Microsoft Xbox and PC. Knights also known as KOTOR among fans was critically acclaimed, even winning Game of the Year at the Game Developers' Choice Awards, along with many other critics in 2003. Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords was developed by Obsidian Entertainment and released in 2004. KOTOR 2 was praised for its cerebral writing and moral ambiguity, similar to The Empire Strikes Back. Another MMORPG titled Star Wars, The Old Republic was developed by BioWare, which released globally on December 20, 2011. Pre-orders went up for sale in July 2011 and open beta weekends were confirmed for September 2011. Topic. Star Wars Battlefront Pandemic Studios Star Wars Battlefront 2004 PlayStation 2 Windows Xbox Mac Star Wars Battlefront 2 2005 PlayStation 2 Windows Xbox PlayStation Portable Cancelled Star Wars Battlefront 3 2008 PC PS3 Xbox 360 Handheld Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron 2007 PlayStation Portable Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron 2009 PlayStation Portable Nintendo DS Mobile Star Wars Battlefront Mobile 2005 Star Wars Battlefront Mobile Squadrons 2009 Star Wars Battlefront 2004
Star Wars – Battlefront II in 2005, a third Star Wars Battlefront title was planned for 2006 but was cancelled. It is also to be noted that Star Wars Battlefront – Elite Squadron was released on November 3, 2009 for the Nintendo DS and the PSP. This is the first Battlefront game to offer a transition from space to ground battles at the player's choice. After Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm and the restructuring of the Star Wars canon, the Battlefront series was rebooted by EA Dice. Topic: <laughs> Empire at War. Star Wars: Empire at War 2006 Windows Mac OS X. Expansions: Star Wars: Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, 2006 Windows compilation; Star Wars: Empire at War, Gold Pack game and expansion package, 2007 Windows. Topic: The Force Unleashed. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, 2008 Windows, Mac OS, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, Wii. Complete Edition re-release with all DLCs. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed Ultimate Sith Edition, 2009 Windows, Mac OS, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. Handhelds: Nintendo DS, iOS, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed Mobile. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2 2010 Windows, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii Handhelds: Nintendo DS, iOS Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, released for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and Wii, uses a new detailed graphics engine. The Wii version utilizes the motion sensing and accelerometer capabilities of the Wii remote, simulating the ability to swing a lightsaber and its nunchuck attachment used to perform force powers. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2 was released in the United States on October 26, 2010. Topic: <laughs> Standalone games. Topic: 1990s. Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire, 1996, third-person shooter, Nintendo 64, Windows. Star Wars: Masters of Terra's Cassie, 1997, fighting, PlayStation. Star Wars: Yoda Stories, 1997, adventure, Windows. Handheld, 1997, Game Boy Color. Star Wars Rebellion Star Wars Supremacy UK 1998 Real Time Strategy Windows Star Wars Trilogy Arcade 1998 Rail Shooter Arcade Star Wars Millennium Falcon CD-ROM Playset 1998 Rail Shooter Adventure Windows 95 to 98 Me Topic 2000s Star Wars Force Commander 2000 Real Time Strategy Windows Star Wars Demolition 2000 Vehicular Combat PlayStation Dreamcast Star Wars Bounty Hunter 2002 Third Person Action GameCube PlayStation 2 Xbox Star Wars Republic Commando 2005 First Person Shooter Xbox Windows Mobile Star Wars Republic Commando Order 66 2005 Compilation Star Wars The Best of PC 2006 Compilation Windows Topic 2010s Star Wars Battle Pod 2015 Rail Shooter Arcade Topic Standalone handheld and mobile games The following is a list of Star Wars titles that are handheld and mobile games. Additional handheld and mobile games are listed above. Unless otherwise mentioned they are for mobile phones. 
Star Wars: Flight of the Falcon 2003 Action Space Simulation Game Boy Advance Star Wars Trilogy Apprentice of the Force 2004 Game Boy Advance Star Wars Battle for the Republic 2005 Star Wars Grievous Getaway 2005 Star Wars Imperial Ace 3D Star Wars The Battle Above Coruscant 2005 Star Wars Lightsaber Combat 2005 Star Wars Trivia 2005 Star Wars Askyoda 2005 Star Star Wars Puzzle Blaster 2005 Star Wars Jedi Assassin 2005 Star Wars Lethal Alliance 2006 Action Adventure PlayStation Portable Nintendo DS set between episodes 3 and IV Star Wars Cantina 2010 Star Wars Trench Run 2009 iOS Unity Star Wars Battle of Hoth 2010 Star Wars Arcade Falcon Gunner 2010 Star Wars Imperial Academy 2011 Star Wars Force Collection 2013 Star Wars Tiny Death Star 2013 Topic <coughs> Cancelled Standalone Games At E3 2012 EA with LucasArts announced Star Wars 1313 which focuses more on the life of a bounty hunter as he descends to the level 1313 on Coruscant to unravel a criminal plot the game focuses more on gunplay and bounty hunter gameplay rather than the Force users and lightsabers combat. It was set to release in fall 2013 for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and Windows. 1313 has subsequently been cancelled by LucasArts following its purchase by Disney. The following are the standalone Star Wars video games that were cancelled. The cancelled titles that were part of a series are listed along its respective series. Star Wars 1313 2013 Action Adventure Star Wars Outpost 2013 Star Wars First Assault 2013 First Person Shooter Star Wars Attack Squadrons 2014 Star Wars Battle of the Sith Lords Action Adventure Star Wars Rivals 2018 Third Person Shooter Topic Miscellanea games The following games are more of Star Wars themed, rather than actually influencing the franchise's fictional plot, they are classified together because of sharing the same genre, rather than officially being part of the same series. Excluded are the games listed above. <laughs> Topic. Table games and virtual pinball Table games Star Wars Chess 1993 Chess Engine DOS, Sega CD, Windows Star Wars Monopoly, Windows Virtual Pinball Star Wars Pinball 2013 Windows, Mac, Wii U, Xbox 360, 3DS, PS Vita, PlayStation 3 PlayStation 4, Kindle Fire, Android, iOS Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back 2013 Star Wars: The Clone Wars 2013 Star Wars Pinball Boba Fett Star Wars Pinball Balance of the Force 2013 Xbox 360 PS Vita PlayStation 3 PlayStation 4 Android iOS Star Wars Episode 6 Return of the Jedi 2013 Star Wars Pinball Darth Vader Star Wars Pinball, Starfighter Assault Star Wars Pinball, Heroes of the Force 2014, Xbox 360, PS Vita, PS3, PS4, Android, iOS Star Wars Pinball, Masters of the Force Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope 2013, Star Wars Pinball, Droids Star Wars Pinball, Han Solo Topic. Connect Motion Sensor Connect Star Wars 2012 Connect Xbox 360 Topic <laughs> Educational Developed by Lucas Learning Star Wars Yoda's Challenge Star Wars The Gungan Frontier Star Wars Droid Works 1999 Windows Mac Star Wars, Pit Droids Windows, iOS Star Wars Math, Jabba's Game Galaxy developed by Argonaut Games Star Wars, Jar Jar's Journey Adventure Book Star Wars, Anakin's Speedway 
Star Wars Early Learning Activity Center Other Educational Star Wars Behind the Magic 1998 Multimedia Encyclopedia Windows Macintosh Star Wars Jedi Math 2008 Educational Leapster Star Wars Jedi Reading 2008 Educational Leapster Star Wars The Clone Wars 2008 Platform Educational DIDJ Star Wars Jedi Trials 2009 DIDJ Topic Jack Pacific Plug It In and Play TV Games Star Wars Lightsaber Battle Game 2005 Handheld TV Game Star Wars Revenge of the Sith 2005 Jack Pacific TV Game Star Wars GameKey Expansion 2006 Star Wars Original Trilogy 2007 Jack Pacific TV Game Star Wars Republic Squadron 2009 Jack Pacific TV Game Topic Licensing to EA Games and the restructuring of the Star Wars canon With the 2012 acquisition of Lucasfilm by the Walt Disney Company, it was announced that LucasArts development arm would stop making video games indefinitely. On May 6, 2013, Disney and Lucasfilm revealed a partnership with Electronic Arts that granted EA the rights to produce Star Wars games for consoles and PC, with Disney retaining the freedom to handle the games for mobile platforms, such as smartphones, tablets and browsers. Later on April 2014, most of the previous licensed Star Wars video games, novels, comics produced since the originating 1977 film Star Wars were rebranded as Star Wars Legends and declared non-canon to the franchise in April 2014. Among the EA subsidiaries responsible for creating the Star Wars games within the deal, were the developers DICE, BioWare and Visceral Games. After the canon restructuring, EA announced their new games would fall under the restructured canon. As of now, Star Wars: Uprising and Star Wars: Battlefront 2 2017 are the only ones considered canonical. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Battlefront EA Dice. Star Wars Battlefront 2015 PlayStation 4 Windows Xbox One Star Wars Battlefront 2 2017 PlayStation 4 Windows Xbox One after the restructuring of the Star Wars canon the Battlefront series was rebooted by EA Dice The first game was released in 2015 rushed into the market to tie in with to the release of The Force Awakens as a result of the shorter development time, developer EA DICE decided to take a significant departure from all previous installments of the franchise and focus the game entirely on online multiplayer, completely axing the inclusion of a single-player campaign or any sort of narrative. The move was heavily criticized by fans, including Finn actor John Boyega. Only original trilogy characters Luke, Leia, Han Solo, Boba Fett, Darth Vader and Palpatine and planets Tatooine, Hoth and Endor were playable. Downloadable content later added the planets Jakku from The Force Awakens and Scarif from Rogue One. The second Battlefront is the first on the series to be considered part of the Star Wars canon as it course corrected the mistake of the previous game by including a single player campaign with a story mode set between the ending of Return of the Jedi and the beginning of The Force Awakens in which the player controls a female imperial officer named Iden Versio. The multiplayer mode features characters from the original, prequel, and sequel trilogies, as well as anthology films. All of its downloadable contents are expected to be free. Topic: <laughs> Star Wars Jedi: Fallen Order 2019. Respawn Entertainment is working on Jedi: Fallen Order. The story will take place between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. Topic. Untitled Star Wars game by Visceral Games Visceral Games was working on an untitled game set in the time between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Amy Hennig, former Naughty Dog writer and director who oversaw the Uncharted series, joined Visceral as creative lead on the project codenamed Ragtag. On October 17, 2017, EA announced the closure of Visceral Games. EA reassigned the game to its EA Worldwide Studios, led by EA Vancouver, and said they will revamp the gameplay, which had been described as a linear, story-heavy title, into 
a broader experience that allows for more variety and player agency. Other rumored console games On October 30, 2013, Dan Connor and Kevin Bruner from Telltale Games expressed an interest in making a Star Wars adventure game. Bruner said that, I'll also say a Telltale Star Wars game would make me very happy. With Connor saying that, Coming from LucasArts, we have so many people here that love Star Wars and have worked with the license, so that would be a great fit and very cool. The lower than expected sales and mixed fan reception towards EA Games' handling of the Star Wars Battlefront subfranchise has led to rumors of Lucasfilm considering to change the terms of the license agreement. Lucasfilm is rumored to be courting either Ubisoft or Activision to either replace EA, or sharing rights to develop Star Wars games with them. Topic: Mobile games. Star Wars: Assault Team 2014. Star Wars: Commander: Android, iOS, Windows Phone 2014. Star Wars: Galactic Defense: Android, iOS 2014. Spans the rise of the Empire era and the Rebellion era. Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes: Android, iOS 2015. Spans the rise of the Empire era, Rebellion era, and the era of the New Republic. Star Wars, Uprising, Android, iOS 2015, discontinued November 17, 2016. Star Wars, Heroes Path, iOS 2015. Star Wars Rebels, Recon Missions, Android, iOS, Windows Phone 2015. Journeys Series Journeys, The Phantom Menace, iOS 2014. Journeys, Beginnings, iOS 2014, Star Wars, Force Arena is a 2017 player versus player real-time strategy mobile game for iOS and Android from Netmarble Games and Lucasfilm. Force Arena is set in the Rebellion era of the Star Wars storyline. Players control customized squads of characters and vehicles in a multiplayer online battle arena MOBA environment. The roster of over 80 available characters includes Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Darth Vader, Palpatine, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Grand Moff Tarkin, Dr. Aphra, Ezra Bridger, and Jin Erso. <laughs> Star Wars crossover-based video game franchises developed by other companies In some cases Lucasfilm has allowed other video games franchises to do their own Star Wars games, resulting in crossover hybrid franchises, that are developed by other studios. <laughs> <laughs> LEGO Star Wars LEGO made video games based on their LEGO Star Wars toys, as part of their LEGO video games franchise. Topic. Main series Due to the technical limitations of handhelds, the handheld versions always result in an entirely different game telling the same story as the console version, however the PlayStation handheld versions tend to imitate more closely the console versions albeit with some reduced areas and features. LEGO Star Wars, the video game 2005, Windows, PlayStation 2 Xbox, Xbox 360, GameCube, Mac, Handhelds, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy 2006, Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, Mac Handhelds, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation Portable Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars 2011, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, 3DS, Wii, Windows, Mac Handhelds, Nintendo DS, Nintendo, PlayStation Portable Lego Star Wars, The Force Awakens 2016, Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii U, Mac Handhelds, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation Vita compilations, Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga 2007 includes Lego Star Wars, the video game, and Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii, Mac 
Handhelds, Nintendo DS Mobile, iOS, Android Topic: Mobile game and web browser. Lego Star Wars: The Quest for R2D2, 2009, Unity. Lego Star Wars: The Yoda Chronicles, 2013, Android, iOS. Topic: Angry Birds Star Wars. Angry Birds made two Star Wars games. Angry Birds Star Wars 2012 Angry Birds Star Wars 2 2013 Topic Disney Infinity The Disney Infinity series allowed to use Star Wars characters along characters from other franchises owned by Disney including characters from the Marvel and Pixar films Disney Infinity 3 Zero 2015, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Wii U, iOS, Android. Topic: <laughs> Guest appearances of Star Wars characters in other video game franchises. This category refers to video games from other franchises where the inclusion of Star Wars characters is very minor and restricted only to small Easter eggs or an unlockable character cameo. Topic: <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, 2001, Activision skateboarding game featuring unlockable Darth Maul. Nintendo GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2, PC Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 2002, Activision, skateboarding game featuring unlockable Django Fett. Nintendo GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2, PC <laughs> Indiana Jones Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings 2009, LucasArts, action-adventure game featuring unlockable Han Solo. Wii, PlayStation 2, Nintendo DS, PlayStation Portable LEGO Indiana Jones series LEGO Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures 2008, LucasArts, action-adventure game featuring unlockable Han Solo and cameos from other Star Wars characters. Wii, Nintendo DS, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, Windows, Lego Indiana Jones 2: The Adventure Continues, 2009, LucasArts action adventure game featuring cameos from Star Wars characters. Wii, Nintendo DS, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, Windows. Topic: Standalone games. Night Shift 1990, Lucasfilm Games, platform game featuring action figures of various Star Wars characters. Amiga, Atari Street, Commodore 64, Mac, PC, Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum Secret Weapons over Normandy 2003, LucasArts, flight simulation game featuring unlockable X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Xbox, PlayStation 2, PC, Mercenaries, Playground of Destruction 2005, LucasArts, features unlockable character Han Solo. Xbox, PlayStation 2 Soul Calibur IV 2008, Namco Bandai Games, fighting game. At release featuring Darth Vader exclusively in the PlayStation 3 version, with Yoda exclusively in the Xbox 360 version, and Darth Vader's apprentice Galen Starkiller Merrick in both versions. Months after the release, Darth Vader and Yoda were made available for purchase as downloadable content, each at the version they were absent at release. Each of the Star Wars characters had his own ending on the story mode. However, in late 2016, all DLC in Soul Calibur IV was removed from the PlayStation and Microsoft stores for unknown reasons. Topic: Cultural impact. Fan-made Star Wars games <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Galaxy in Turmoil On January 25, 2016, Frontwire Studios began an attempt to produce an unofficial Battlefront installment called Galaxy in Turmoil. The fan-made game was in production using Unreal Engine 4 and was based off the cancelled Star Wars, Battlefront 3 by Free Radical Design. Although early versions of the game contained assets from Free Radical Design, they soon became placeholders, as the full game planned to be released using assets and music made from the ground up. On June 4, 2016, Galaxy in Turmoil gained a distribution deal through Valve and was planned to be released for free on Steam, which generated a fair amount of attention. On June 22, 2016, Lucasfilm requested the production of Galaxy in Turmoil be halted. On July 31, 2016, Frontwire Studios announced the cancellation of the game was due to the possibility of Galaxy in Turmoil taking away attention from Electronic Arts' Battlefront franchise. Proposals of Galaxy in Turmoil falling under the paywall of Electronic Arts, and ideas of Lucasfilm giving Frontwire Studios a Star Wars IP license were both rejected due to an agreement between Electronic Arts and Lucasfilm. Although Frontwire Studios may have fallen within fair use laws, legal conflict was avoided and the fan-made Star Wars-inspired project was cancelled. There is a playable alpha that contains assets from Free Radical Design that was released to the public then removed early on within Galaxy in Turmoil's lifetime. Galaxy in Turmoil is now planned to be released as a brand new, cyberpunk, themed IP without any Star Wars references, but still with Battlefront 3 inspired mechanics including space to ground battles. <laughs> Further reading Williams, Kyle, Radke, C. Star Wars, A Video Game Saga. Yugo. Archived from the original on April 22, 2007.